Hey piano people, in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you one simple hack to help you improve your piano playing in just a few minutes a day. If you take this hack and actually apply it to your piano practice going forward from today, you will learn a lot faster and the process is going to be more enjoyable. In this video, I'm not just going to share this hack with you and then leave you hanging. I'm going to share why it works and three of the ways in which you will improve significantly if you implement this hack today. At the end of the video, I'm also going to share one time sensitive way that you can fast track your progress. So make sure to stay tuned. I'm Ashley. Welcome to Ashley on Music Studio, where you are going to learn how to practice smarter, not harder. Let's dive in. The one simple hack that will help you improve your piano playing with just a few minutes a day is to use an adult piano method book to make progress faster. Don't turn the video off. Most often when I share this with adult piano players, they are immediately disinterested because they mistakenly think that using an adult piano method book is going to like take them back to the beginning stages or make piano practice boring or be a waste of time. But none of this is true. Let me break it down for you. Learning a difficult piece on the piano is kind of like trying to pack a suitcase with a lot of oversized items. If you had, let's say, a carry-on suitcase and you were going on a trip, but you were trying to pack all of these larger sized items, perhaps small appliances from your house, the suitcase would fill up really, really fast and you wouldn't have room for any of the smaller but more essential things like socks or clothes for you to wear each day, or perhaps medication that you need on a regular basis because you filled that small space with all of these oversized items that probably weren't essential for your trip. Similarly, when you are going through the process of learning how to play a piece on the piano, there are some really large concepts that take up a lot of the space in your brain. Concepts like playing accurate notes or using the proper fingerings or even just getting the rhythm to be correct in the very beginning stages of learning a piece. And when you're learning a piece that's really, really challenging, these concepts can take up so much space in the brain that it's not even possible to fit in some of those smaller, but arguably just as important concepts like musicality or dynamics or pedaling. But when you take a smaller, less difficult piece, like what you would encounter in an adult piano method book, and you work on that for a shorter amount of time, let's say like a week or two, all of a sudden, the concepts like fingering and rhythm and accurate notes don't take up so much space in your brain because you're working with a much smaller and a much simpler piece. And so fingering is maybe a much smaller concept to understand in this piece. And the notes are a lot simpler, so they take up a lot less space in your brain. And maybe the rhythm is really repetitive and it's also very simple. So you have little tiny things that you're working on. And that means in your brain, you leave space for other higher level musical concepts. So it basically all comes down to, if you want to achieve a high level of confident musical expression with a very challenging piece, you have to practice those elements of the music that are going to give you that high level of musical expression. Things like pedaling, dynamics, technique. And if all you are working on is really challenging pieces, you're not giving yourself very many opportunities to practice those higher level musical concepts because so much of your brain space is being taken up with some of the more basic concepts like playing accurate notes or accurate rhythms or trying to figure out the fingering. So not only does practicing from an adult method book give you more opportunities to practice confident musical expression, it also improves your piano playing in a lot of other different ways. So let's break it down. There's three that we're going to talk about. The first way that it can really improve your piano playing is by helping you sight read more often. Many adults get caught in this cycle of only learning very challenging pieces. And when you do that, you are essentially looking at the same thing over and over again for long periods of time. Now, this is really great for your musical development in a lot of ways, but one thing that this way of learning neglects is sight reading. When you practice from an adult method book, you're learning about one piece a week-ish. And so you know that every single week, at least on that first day of learning the piece, you are practicing sight reading because you are reading through new material that you have never seen before. This means that you are giving yourself many more opportunities to practice that skill of sight reading, which is essential to building your long-term musical development. Now, as a side note, if you haven't already seen my free sight reading workshop, I break down a lot more about the benefits of sight reading in that workshop. And I'll link that in the description below so that when you're done here with this video, you can go snag that free workshop. The second way that practicing from an adult piano method book helps you improve faster 
is that you're giving yourself more opportunities to learn pieces faster. Now, I already alluded to this in the introduction of the video, but let me break this down a little bit more for you. And before I do, if you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments what about this video is resonating with you. Copy the link and share it with an adult piano player friend so that they too can learn this simple hack that will help them improve their piano playing. And make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing content that I put out on a regular basis. So when you're learning how to play the piano, I kind of like to compare it to learning how to drive a car. So when you want to learn how to drive, you don't simply focus on learning how to get to one destination, right? You go to the DMV, you grab the driver's manual, maybe you start studying online and you're studying the general principles of how to drive so that when you learn how to drive, you can drive anywhere successfully. And when we learn how to play the piano, a lot of people go about it by learning how to play one piece. And this is a great goal, but if you only stay focused on that one piece, you lose out on a lot of the important lessons about how to learn piano as a whole, because you're really just focused on that one piece. When you are using an adult piano method book, what happens is that you actually start to learn one piece a week, like we talked about. And so you learn the principles of effective and efficient practice much faster and in a much deeper way because you're going through the process of learning a piece more regularly. My favorite method book that I recommend to people often is the Faber method book for adult piano players. And in this book, they're going to break down for you, not only like the path of study. So what you will learn throughout the entire book, but they also show you exactly how to use the book. So there's a little reference guide on page two that shows you like this section is where we describe this. This section is where we describe this. And so going into each piece of music, it's really clear to you what you're learning, how you're supposed to be practicing it, and you have a piece with which to practice it. So you're learning those pieces faster on a more regular basis, and you're also likely learning them to a much higher quality if you are implementing what the book tells you to implement. So another great resource that you could utilize to help you learn these pieces even faster is to join the free Facebook community if you're not already in it, and make sure that you participate in the weekly Fearless Friday posts. These posts are a chance for you to post a video and ask for feedback. There are a ton of piano players that have worked really closely with me inside my Casual the Confident Piano Player program, and I also watch those videos when I can and give comments. And so not only will you be learning pieces on a more regular basis, you also can go in that Facebook group, post videos of the pieces, and get feedback. This is especially helpful if you don't have a teacher, but even if you do have a teacher, this is a great way to showcase what you are learning and to make sure that what you are learning is sticking when you have that added layer of performance anxiety when you're recording the video and sharing it with a group of piano players. The third way that learning from an adult piano method book will really help you learn a lot faster is by going deeper on specific topics. So when you learn any piece of music, there are approximately 10-ish things that you're going to have to do in order to get to a point where you learn it with confident musical expression. Those things are learning the rhythm, learning the fingerings, learning the notes, getting the articulation, the proper technique, the dynamics, the pedaling, the tempo, and then that ultimate goal, the confident musical expression. And in a method book, they are going to progress one concept at a time. When you are focused on one challenging piece, you are going to be focusing on all of those things. And it can be very, very overwhelming if you don't know which order to go in, or if you're not sure like what the most important thing or the few most important things in that piece are. But in a method book, that's not the case. They will be presenting one new concept and then you'll learn that piece and you'll have a chance to let that concept solidify and then an additional new concept. And there's already a path of study outlined inherently in the book. And going back to what we discussed in the introduction, this means that your brain is going to feel like you have a lot more space to digest the new concept that you're learning, as opposed to being really overwhelmed by all of the things happening in the challenging piece. So I would recommend that with an adult method book, you work on about one piece a week. Now you're going to have to change this depending on who you are and where you are in your progress, but about one a week seems to be a really good timeline and a really good amount of music for people. This can be balanced with the other things you're already already doing in your piano practice routine. So don't scrap your whole routine and switch to an adult method book. Just use an adult method book to enhance what you're already doing in your practice routine. I would recommend you spend about five to 10 minutes a day on the method book. So it doesn't need to be a lot of time, but you will start to see benefits, especially if you do this for a few weeks in a row and you look back to see where you were before. I promise you, you're going to see progress in a lot of different areas much 
faster than if you are only working on challenging pieces. If you haven't already reserved your seat for the free upcoming event Piano Pratisad, you are going to want to do that. In this event, we're going to be touching on all sorts of topics related to this video. The main purpose of this event is to help you learn the differences between effective and efficient piano practice and all the things that are not effective and efficient. During this time together, you will design a weekly practice routine that helps you move beyond the notes to confident musical expression. We'll break down which practice methods to use, which practice methods are a waste of time, and we're going to be talking about the confidence roadmap, which is that step-by-step -step guide to learning a piece with confident musical expression. So if this video is helpful, you will get a ton out of Piano Practice Lab. We kick off in just a couple of days on June 3rd. Replays are available if you can't make the live times, but grab that link right now and reserve your free seat. I'm gonna put it on the end screen in the description of the video, and I'm also going to link on the end screen to another video where I give you some common mistakes to avoid if you want to achieve confident musical expression in your piano playing. You can reserve your free seat to Piano Practice Lab and grab the link to that other video right here on the end screen. Happy practicing.